Hello everyone, we will continue the data migration using business object method of LSMW and in the previous video we created project, sub project and object. Now we will start with the steps of LSMW. I will click on to this execute button first. Now you can see we have so many steps are there as a part of LSMW. If you see as of now, we have almost 20 steps. Why I'm putting the stress on this steps? Because once you will choose the respective method of LSMW, number of steps will be automatically reduced and whatever is applicable to that method that will be visible to us. Suppose I will go to first step, define object attributes. I will click on to execute button. I will go to change mode. Now we have four methods of LSMW. We can do the data migration using LSMW by four methods. What is first method? direct input method, batch input recording method, business object method, and intermediate document method means IDOC method. As of now in our current requirement, which method is applicable to us? Business object method or we can say BAPI with IDOC interface method. If you refer the data migration series, I explained at that point of time batch input recording method. Now based upon our current requirement, I will choose business object method. Now I will pass the name of my business object. You all know that we created the business object using SWO1 transaction code. So I will go to SWO1 transaction code. In SWO1 transaction code, this is the business object we created at that point of time. This is internal identification of business object. Whenever I will double click, this is the external identification of business object. So I'll simply pass the name of the business object which we created. Now, whenever I will go to the help of the method, if you remember, we created the method create at that point of time. If I will go to the help, you can see create method came automatically because we have a single method in the business object and you can see message type and IDOC type also came automatically and this message type and IDOC type we created with the help of BDBG transaction code. Just think, first two things are related to BAPI. Last two things are for the IDOC and we have the topic is BAPI with IDOCs. If I will show you in BDBG transaction code, the same things are there which we created. This is your business object. This is the method. If I will display this interface, you can see this is your message type. Is the same to say message type is there? Yes. This is the IDOC type. Do we have same to same IDOC type? Yes. So everything is coming automatically. Now I will save. Now you can see while saving, I am getting a information message. What this information is, define the default values for inbound IDOC processing. We have to define the default values for inbound IDOC processing. Are we going for inbound? Yes, our data is coming into the SAP system. So how we can define the default values? Whenever you will choose this business object method of LSMW, you will get this information. And how we will pass the values? 
I will go to back button. I will go to back. I will go to settings. Are you able to see a option? Inbound IDOC processing and but the message we are getting, define the values for inbound IDOC processing. Now we will define the values. I will go to this button. Now you can see is this all things are similar which we created previously? Yes, we created the port, we created the partner number and I told you these all things we will be used in the future when real data migration will start. Whenever I will click on to this button, it will take me to WE21. WE21 is the transaction code for ports in IDOC processing. Whenever I will click on to this button, it will take me to WE20. WE20 is for the partner profile. Suppose I will click on to this button, edit ports. You can see it is WE21 transaction code. And at that time, we started how to create TRFC port and file port. But based upon our current requirement, which port is applicable to us? File port. So I'll simply copy the name of the file port and pass it there. I will pass. No. Now I will come on to partner number. I will click on to this edit partner numbers button. Now you can see this is WE20 transaction code. And at that time, we created the partner in logical system. This is the partner which we created. We maintain the message type and the process code. This is our partner number. And what is the partner type? Logical system. So I will simply, simply pass. I'll go again. I think it has not copied. I will copy again. I will pass. Now, what is the partner type? LS, logical system. Now, I will say, and most important step is there. You have to define the default values for IDOC inbound processing. Means you need to define the port. You need to define the partner number and the partner type. Now, I will go to back button. And now I will again execute and we will see is the same to same warning is coming. I will go to change mode and now I will say now you can see there is no further warning. Now, so first step is over in the first step. We just choose the method which method we want to use. And we did the IDOC settings. We did the inbound IDOC. We provide the values for inbound IDOC processing. Now I will move on to the second step. Define source structure. I will go to execute button. I will go to change mode. Here I will give some name to the source structure. And you all know. Our source is legacy file. Our source is legacy data. So I will simply, simply click on to this create button. I will give some name to the source structure. Suppose I am saying Z employee source. Z EMP source. Okay. And I will write source structure for employee and now I will go to save button. Now, what is the summary of the video? What we studied in this video so far, we finished the two steps of LSMW. Before I come on to the summary, just see has number of steps reduced or not? Yes, number of steps reduced. Now these steps are only dedicated to the method. They are dedicated to which particular method? Business object method of LSMW. 
Previously, we have 20 steps. Now we have only 13 or 14 dedicated steps are there, which are for business object method. Now, what is the summary of the video? We finished the first two steps. In the first step, define object attribute. We choose the business object method and we got the warning that please pass the values for the inbound IDOC processing and we pass the file port partner type and logical system by using this particular path. Then we went to the second step and in the second step, we just gave some name to the source structure. Our source is legacy anyways. And we gave some name to the source structure in the SAP system. And number of steps now are dedicated to business object method of LSMW only. In the next video, we will go for further steps of LSMW. That's it in this video. Thank you.